Hey everybody, this is Crystal from So Save Me. I have a really cute little Morse vibrating shuttle machine. This seems to be a clone of the Singer 128 with one very significant difference aside the fact that it's a Morse is that it actually has reverse stitch capability by use of this lever right here. This thumb screw I have found which is normally used for adjusting your stitch length is just here for show. I believe that after market they installed this reverse lever which now actually um, also adjusts your stitch length. It's very simple. When it's all the way down this is the longest stitch length that you can have on this machine. If you push it all the way up you have put the machine in reverse. Okay. As I said this is a vibrating shuttle which means you use long bobbins. You access the bobbin area by sliding these plates and right here is your shuttle. Oops, there you go. Okay. This does include the shuttle right here and two bobbins. There's going to be one already loaded and there will be one extra one that I will leave well, I won't leave it here, but I put it here for you to see that it's up here in the bobbin winder. All right, as I said, this is just a straight stitch machine with reverse capability. It's a very simple little guy, but very pretty. Has a lot of shine left in the finish on the bed, although it's still very shiny. It does have some, for back of, lack of a better term, I guess I call it kind of pockmarking. It almost look, looks like they banged it or something, but there are some scratches and some pockmarks in the finish. But it's still very shiny, very clean, very pretty little machine. I especially like the nose cover. I think this is just beautiful. All right, I'm going to pause and get the machine loaded up so I can show you some stitching samples. Before I show you stitch samples, I forgot to mention a couple of important details. First of all, the case for this machine has been completely redone. It's very solid now and painted. Here's the top. Uh, even painted the hinges, or latches I should say. Okay. Also, same thing with the foot pedal. It has been completely refinished. I had to scrub it down and apply a new layer of really nice black paint. And I also rewired uh, the motor block and the cords to everything. The motor is a nice heavy duty motor. It's a 1.3 amp, which is actually overkill for a machine of this size, but it is very powerful. And I also have uh, serviced the motor too, so everything is ready to go. All right, I am back with the Morse vibrating shuttle, and I'm getting ready to show you some stitch samples. Let's see if I can get a little closer for you. Okay, turn that around so you can see the stitches. Okay, there's the front. And there is the back side. Nice, perfectly even and straight stitches. You don't get that with machines that have multi stitch capabilities. They just can't get that perfect stitch like you can with an old straight stitch machine. Alright, guys.